here, Nick and Sam Simpson, and this is Simps on the Go. Welcome to Dubrovnik, Croatia. I mean, look at that view. That doesn't get old. If you really want my honest opinion, it's not my favorite place we've been. Good morning from day nine of 12 of our RV camper adventure around Croatia, Italy, and Slovenia. And today we have made it to Dubrovnik, Croatia. We're staying at a campsite about 20 minutes bus ride into the city center. So let's get to it. All right, we have made it to Dubrovnik. The first stop is we're gonna be walking the whole perimeter of the walls of the old city. After that, we're gonna be exploring all of everything on the inside of the walled city. We have a lot to see today, so let's get going. I'm gonna be real honest. I never typically like walled cities because I think they're really overrated. We saw two huge ships coming in and it's, it's just always a lot in these walled cities. Dubrovnik walled city was built mostly between the 13th and 17th century. And I will tell you, the length of this walled city is about 6,400 feet and about 82 feet high. So it's a big area and it's been around for a very long time. So after much deliberation and me not wanting to do it, we read online that like if there's one thing that you do here in Dubrovnik is to walk along the wall. Now it is 35 euro per person, which is extremely painful because we travel on a very tight budget. So it looks like we're gonna be eating rice and pasta. Whoa, that bird almost just hit me in the face. That bird almost just hit me in the face. So we're gonna do it to see if all the hype on the internet says to do it is actually worth it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let the two kilometer journey begin. It's a very painful ticket to buy, but I think it'll be worth it. These fortress walls were started to be built in the 8th century. Like we are walking on 8th century fortress walls here in Dubrovnik. And like look at that view. I gotta say, down there it's a lot. Like there are just a lot of people. It's just like very overcrowded. But up here, there's like no one. And it is so lovely up here. Like look at this. We have this whole place to ourselves right now. Look at that view! They said it takes about two hours to walk around the two kilometers on this fortress. And at first I was like, there's no way. Like that's 30 minutes max. Like We've been up here for about an hour. I think we have gone 300 meters. <laughs> it is so picturesque, so beautiful. So yes, give yourself time if you wanna come do this. And apparently people live here. I was convinced that people do not live in the walled city, which is very surprising to me. I was just listening to a Croatian girl that was like clearly guiding people around talk about that there were like bars set into the cliff. It was so cool. I wish that we could do it, but we spent 70 euro on these tickets. So 
And I do want to point out that before you buy tickets, there is a sign saying it is very hot up there, so bring water and it could rain. So once you're up here, you're stuck. We are about halfway through, and this is the view from like the halfway point. I think that the entrance is the most beautiful. Like what you first get for the first 500 meters are absolutely stunning. So earlier when I said that when you start, you have to walk to the end, well, we just passed by the second entrance because there are two entrances, one on each side of the like old city, but that's also where the museum is. And I think your ticket includes like the museum. We're not gonna do the museum because we're not museum people, but if you've done it, let us know in the comments, like what, if it's worth it or not, like to go and stop in there. Cause maybe if you're only here for a day like us, we don't know. So I think we're on the final stretch. So we're on the opposite side of the C part of the wall. And it's definitely, it's got a lot more steps than the rest of it. But I will say when we first got here, the city center was just crammed with people. It's a little overbearing. I was kind of off-putting at first. I was like, you know, is this actually gonna be fun? But coming up here, there's not as many people. Maybe because it costs so much money. But if you really want to escape the crowds, Come up here. There are certain areas that have people, but for the most part, like Sam and I have kind of had the wall to ourselves. So we made it to the top and the views are amazing, but honestly, I think the stairs that lead up to here have a better view than up here. And there's a lot of people up here, so. I do love these little alleyways though in the old city because they're everywhere and although they're very crowded with people, it is still so nice. Like this is so classic Europe. I will say it's not super authentic. It's very much catering toward tourism, but it has like a crazy like Mediterranean feel I guess is the best way to put it. Like look behind me. This is like, so cute back here and no one is here so you can find like great little hidden gems in the old city but I definitely prefer the wall part of the city although it is very nice down here okay if you really want my honest opinion it's not my favorite place we've been I'm gonna be really honest but what I think makes it worth it is the part where you get to walk around the wall. I'd say you really only need one day in the old city, but I imagine there's tons to do in the rest of the city here. And like where our camp is, is so amazing. There's so much to see out there and so much to do. So like I'd recommend probably like getting out of the city center. I'm just being honest with you because that's something that we always say we wanna do is to give you the truth when we're out and about. And that's one of our truths. It is 6 p.m., which means it's time for some rosé on this beautiful evening here in Croatia. We still have a couple of days left of our RV camper adventure around Croatia, Slovenia, and Italy. We have like a very exciting campsite that we're going to tomorrow. We're actually driving seven hours tomorrow so that we could go to apparently the best campsite in all of Croatia. But we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure 
you hit that subscribe button so that you can follow our journeys around the world. We have lots coming up in the next several months, so we hope you're excited about it because we certainly are. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And until next time, we will see you on the go. Because it looks crazy. Um, because it looks. We don't need to say. Remember, you're just listing it off. And then after that, the stop is about a 10-minute walk from. All right, we have made it to Dubrovnik, and the bus. Tall. Off the ground. This is actually the place. We are yeah. We are Nick and Sam Simpson and this is Simps on the Go. Welcome to Dubrovnik, Croatia. Whoa, that was... <laughs> oh stairs, fun. But it is beautiful. And we're walking on a wall that's Sam how old's the wall? Yeah, she told you earlier, you know, right? It's old but I definitely prefer the roof. Or the roof, but I definitely prefer the walls. What? After a very, oh. <laughs> He's mad at me because he was carrying the camera and the six pack of water, which are the big water bottles. Fine leader. I asked him if he wanted me to carry something and he said no. So that's on him.